What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another France national team selection training guide. Short and sweet, as you know, we like to do sometimes on these training guides, especially when we've covered these players multiple, multiple times, right? So a lot of newcomers asking me, is this Dembele good? Are these French pack players good? We've already covered Mbappers and Chouamene. We are now going to be covering uh, Dembele, who is a fantastic player in the game. He's a very unique card, right? So he doesn't have one-touch pass, but he does have true passing. He also has scissors feint, double touch, cut behind and turn, soul control, and heel trick. So he is going to be a monster on the wing for you. This guy is an outright winger, right? So what's different about this card is that he can play across pretty much anywhere left or right, um, which is always nice to have. And on top of that, if you do get him, you do have a good chance of getting him. He does have only 19 levels. So you don't have to waste a lot of trainers to go uh, for him. I do like the fact that he also has early cross and pinpoint crossing which is huge so you do need to be careful nowadays because if you are playing a prolific winger if they're not cutting in and scoring goals here which is very rare and a lot of people don't play that way such as Messi or Neymar you do need to be able to pass in now because that is kind of the meta at the moment is to be able to just have an out ball you know from your wide left to right right to right right to left um, and so on and so forth now I have used Dembele quite a bit he is a monster in the game but the form is an issue. He always seems to be down even though he's only got standard form, right? So we're going to go over to eFootball DB and we'll take a quick look at him here. He's had multiple versions. You've had the French pack um, that was really good uh, or the Barcelona pack that was really good. You've had the eFootball Championship Pro pack that was really good. Couple of different players of the week. And you'll notice that in a lot of them, um, it's more so about his balance and his ability on the ball. So we can actually train him up exactly how we want him. 90 dribbling. We've also got 87 balance, 94 acceleration, 83 offensive awareness. With the player skills that he has here, you're going to need nothing else. Now, the big thing, the difference maker in this card is the lofted pass, right? If you are wanting to get that balance up to 88, which I probably do recommend, that is probably the best build that I would use for him. You're also going to get 87 onto the speed there as well, if you wanted to go that route with 72 stamina. So he lasts about the 70 minutes, you know, playing very nicely with him. But you've got 90 dribbling, you've got 88 balance and 95 acceleration. Plus, you've also going to, you're also going to get the boost to the lofted pass. With that pinpoint cross and true passing, it's going to be beautiful. And you also have the early cross as the AI play style as well, which will unlock a couple of more motions and animations. Now, as you always know, I will do an alternative. If you are staying free to play, you're watching this video and saying, ah, oh, there's nothing in this video for me. I'm not going to spend coins or buy coins where, you know, so close to eFootball 2024 when I can buy similar players or I have better players on the bench. Yes, I would say that Saka is a brilliant option as we like to do, give you a GP road to glory, free to play alternative. And Saka is a fantastic player. He can play multiple positions. He outperforms Dembele in a lot of areas, depending on how you train him up. Is he as fast? No, but he's more aggressive on the ball. Uh, 53 compared to 65 aggression. So you will get that little kind of bit of uh, more effort from him. He also has track back and gamesmanship and he has one touch pass. Um, he, does ha he doesn't have pinpoint crossing and he doesn't have early crosses. So they are kind of similar kind of players, but different in a way. But he does have low lofted pass and he does have chop turn and soul control. So double touch on him is a must, in my opinion. He is around 200,000 GP, as you see there, 170. Um, but 94 acceleration, 89 balance, fence awareness, ball control, dribbling, all pretty much the same with the lofted pass. So if you wanted to stay free to play, you can go that route as well. So that is it for me, lads. As I said, short and sweet, four minutes five minute videos get you the information as quickly as possible so you're not wasting time watching loads of uh loads of uh fluff and uh yeah that is it for me i'll be back quite soon don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content peace